what's up with it what's up with it what's up what's up what's up with it what's up everybody it is the girl a girl your girl amari elaine signing in for the video of today i know this probably seems like a, a deja vu a repeat but y'all i had my two tattoos i'm ready for another one so i'm not gonna talk too much in this intro i'm a little bit nervous just a tad bit not really but we'll see I'm shaking in they fucking boots. Tell them pull up and don't bring the crew. I was better duck cause I'm known to shoot. I got them hiding out in their room and shaking their bed. I'm talking chest to rapper when I send out the shots in the head. They know I'm down to get down. Like prison, my niggas make browns. Yeah, play with me, it's lights out. 2020, I was talking to town. Be that nigga till his pants turn brown. No NBA, but we doing them foul. Niggas is goofy, both of the clown. Niggas is bitch, I'm like a hell. I'm not the one they can play with. Unless it's when I'm on your playlist. They knew me when I was putting famous. I see money like an addict, I go and chase it. Put it in the attic, they cannot trace it. Smoke a blood, the only problem I'm facing. Talk a shit, tell them niggas to save it. I go crazy when I switch up the cadence. Pretty boy, half a slack, just don't main it. They all in line, cause they wanna taste it. You don't wanna smoke with me, promise I laced it. Fuck up his vision, that niggas. It's not too bad. That's all crazy. You know, I got my back done, so I already know what it feels like. <laughs> Got them shaking in they fucking boots. Tell them pull up and don't bring the crew. I was better duck cause I'm known to shoot. I got them hiding out in their room and shaking their bed. I'm talking chest to rapper when I send out three shots to their head. I can get scary October. Pop a nigga Coca Cola. I get high like Arizona. You smell money, it's my aroma. Niggas can't see me glaucoma. Yellow diamonds like I'm home. A nigga go against me here. So on the beat, I'm cold like it's been so See me out in public, they wanna photo. I'm in Gucci, while you shop at the bugger. Come with me crazy, I'ma drag you like Bruho. Do a bird, that mean a brand new dodo. Pull it away like my name, Moto Moto. World domination like Moto Toto. I go crazy, bitch, I'm loco. Hey guys, um, I know I probably look a little crazy right now. Don't even mind it. I've been busy, so I haven't been able to keep up with this video. It has been two weeks since I've gotten my tattoo. Um, let me show y'all what it looks like, actually. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. Um, so you can see. It's cool. So this is what it looks like when I have a shirt on. You can see it like peeping out the top. And so this is two weeks after I've gotten it done. Um, I feel like it helped. It healed really good, really well, especially with the fact that I have not put A and D ointment on it like within the last three days. These last three days, um, I have not put any ointment on it and yeah, I can still feel it though. It has like a dry feeling to it. So I'll put A and D on. On what? I'll put A and D on after um, I finish talking to you guys. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. As far as um, pain, I would rate it a seven, a six point no. Let's say six point five. As I saw in the previous clip, it like I don't know, it wasn't easy. It I, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, hold on, because I'm rambling. Let me make it make sense. So getting the tattoo itself, I really wasn't too nervous for real because I didn't know what to expect. And what I mean by that is I looked into spine tattoos, back tattoos, but more so like spine, not Cause when you do back tattoos it's like different places but i looked into back and spine tattoos just to see like around like what's the pain scale for majority because i know everybody's body is different everybody's pain tolerance is different and i got a lot of a mixed 
messages on spine tattoo like for example some a lot of i'm not gonna lie i got more it hurt it's painful i saw a lot of that more than anything but i feel like i really got a decent amount of people that said it didn't hurt or whatever especially on tiktok like somebody will post a tiktok and be like spine tattoo hurt so bad hurt so bad 10 out of 10 as far as like the pain goes um people be like it, pain, it's, it was so painful but it was worth it that type of thing and then you go in the comments and people on tiktok are like oh mine didn't hurt really i fell asleep getting mine mine was like a two mine was like a three people were doing that and then i will come across youtube videos where people be like it hurts so bad and then in their comment section um some people were like oh mine didn't hurt so yeah most people who said there's hurt but it's like, okay, let's say out of 100, you have like 50 people say that it's just like extremely bad and it just hurts so horribly. And then you got like 30 people that says it didn't hurt at all. And then the other 20 is just like people that don't know anything, you know? So I feel like... 30 to 50, that's a good percentage comparison to where I can't really just go off of, oh, this 50% said it hurt, so I'm just going to say it hurt. No, because 30 ain't that far from 50, and these 30% of people were saying that it's not that bad. And I know that my pain tolerance is pretty high, So, but at the same time, I never, this is my third tattoo, so I'm like, there's a great chance that this not even going to kill me how people acting. And there's a great chance that this might be the most painful thing ever because I, this is my third tattoo in life. And um, it's a different placement for me. Anyway, needless to say, it didn't really hurt too much. I would give it a 6.5 slash 7. And the reason why I do that is because some people might think that a 7 is pretty high on the scale. But no, I say it's a 6.5, 7 because... It wasn't all peaches and cream. I'm not going to lie to you. It was not like just heaven on earth getting it. But at the same time, like you could sit through it. I'm not going to lie. I probably, thinking back on it, I probably would get it again. If I had the option to, yeah, I would get it again. The only, the, the main thing that almost took me out, I'm not going to lie, and it almost made me want to tap out was the top my top chakra that crown chakra at the top of my back like in between my shoulder blades that actually was the most painful like he was doing the outline and i thought he was he had started shading or something that was the only one that was like extremely painful for me almost made me want to tap out not gonna lie to you but i'm like i already have the six so i have to pick it out with the seventh one so I would say that one right there was probably the most painful one, but all the rest of them wasn't that bad. It just felt like getting a regular old tattoo. Um, so that's what it takes me to like a 6.5. So that was just the outline. And now let's get into shading. Um, I've heard a lot of people say the outline is easier than getting shading. So that's the part that I was more, more so nervous about within the whole process. Cause I'm like, dang, shading is probably going to like make me cry, but it didn't. There were certain part, like parts of my back, more so on the right side, when he would shade whatever is on the right side of my back. Those was kind of hurting more than others. It would kind of make me jump a little bit because you know all your nerve endings and stuff is kind of connected to the spine. But that was it, guys. It, it it was certain parts that hurt more than others, but it really wasn't like unbearable at all. So, but again, I think I have a high pain tolerance. So, if you are thinking about getting a spine tattoo, think about yourself. Like, because I was starting to let other people get in my head. Like, maybe I shouldn't get it, but I knew I always wanted it. And I knew that I wanted the chakras on my spine. I didn't want anything else. Most girls get dainty flowers or a big, like, cherry, cherry blossom tree and some Asian words or they get i believe like arabic on their backs and stuff i don't want any of that i wanted the chakras and i know there's some girls out here they already got chakras on their back before me but that's what i wanted i didn't want a quote or sentence none of that i didn't want no big art piece on my back i just wanted that i feel like that's pretty different because not too many people have the chakras on their back so 
again, if you are thinking about getting a spine tattoo yourself, I say really go based off of your pain tolerance. Go based off your pain tolerance because you can see 10 videos that be telling you it hurt and then you go get it and you have a high pain tolerance. You can see 10 videos of girls with an extremely low pain tolerance and they tell you it hurts. It's just so painful. They cry, they tapped out, all of that stuff. But if you have a higher pain tolerance um, than them, you go get it and be like, what was they talking about? So I say go based off of your stuff. Don't be like, oh, I, I want it, but everybody say it hurt. Go off of you. Because if I would if I would have went off of everybody saying that it hurt, I wouldn't have got it. And look at me now. I will get it again. Yes, that, that top chakra definitely hurt. But one out of seven, one out of the seven um, chakras hurt the most. You would love that out. That's nothing. That's nothing. So, yeah. And that is really all I got to say with you guys. Um, I I love my tattoo. I've always wanted. It's two things that I I always wanted once I discovered them. When I was young, I always wanted a belly piercing. Once I turned eighteen, I don't know why, but I just always wanted it. So I like my I my big cousins had it, my aunts had it. So I was like, when I grow up, I'm gonna give me a belly piercing, and I did it. And then when I started getting into tattoos, because I wasn't always into them. When I started getting into them, I was like, yeah, I want a spine tattoo. Those look really beautiful. And most, most like, come on now. Every spine tattoo you see, y'all can't even lie. Most of them be hidden. They be so pretty. It don't matter who the girl is, what the, the tattoo is on the spine, they're pretty. So I was like, yeah, I want that on myself. I want something cute for me. And I did it. A spine tattoo was definite. So, yeah, that's all I got. For you guys um if anybody i hope i covered everything is this didn't get dragged out too long he let tell him oh my artist did tell me to keep the plastic on my back for five days i kept it on for four i don't know who gonna say what about that you should listen to him my back is fine i took it off within four because tattoos are a wound and you need your air to hit your wound so it can help it heal Furthermore, it was starting to itch, but like hurt itch. It, did, it wasn't just like a regular, oh, my tattoo was itchy. No, it felt like it was dried out and it was itchy. So I had to take it off. Um, and with that, my, I got in the shower and my little sister helped me. She peeled it off in the water and that was that. I didn't wash my back. I just kind of squeezed the washcloth to just let the sun just fall on it. And then after, like a few days after that, I would just put my washcloth on my back and just let the let it slide down and I would catch it down here then do it on the other side put the washcloth here let it go let it slide down and catch it like that squeeze and rinse off I was not trying to scrub my own back because um, I didn't want anything to happen but that's all I got y'all so if you have any questions you can comment down below if you like this video you like spine tattoos uh, like tattoos in general make sure you give this video a really 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 big thumbs up smash that subscribe button okay smash the like and the subscribe button share this with your mom your cousin your sister whoever you know that might want a spine tattoo and might be freaking out i think i, I think i just helped them by telling them to go based off of their own pain tolerance okay um and with that being said it is the girl a girl your girl amari elaine signing out of the video today. I'll see y'all next time. Spread peace, love, and positivity. Gang. <sighs>